Our brand new cycle of basic Spacelands is now available for purchase at www.itresolvesmtg.com. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another box opening video. This one is tremendously exciting. I absolutely love the master sets. I'm so happy to be opening up double masters today. Obviously the gimmick here, you get two foils, you get two rares, really, really awesome stuff. If you happen to be drafting this, you do draft two cards at a time, which I think is a really fun way to do it as well. I am i don't know that I'll get to draft it, but I'm really excited for the opportunity and hopefully we get to. So I uh, just want to mention as well before we jump into this, of course, this is sponsored by our amazing local game store, uh, Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. Always really, really appreciate their support. They have really been with us since the beginning, uh, transferred ownership a couple times, but they've really been... Uh, a phenomenal support for us uh, and on top of that they're really just a great group of people um, they've done a fantastic job kind of building up the store uh, and I, I could not be more happy to uh, to work with such a great group so thank you to them uh, please do check out their um, their Facebook group which is down below uh, as well just uh, if you're in Rock Hill come check them out they're a really awesome group of people so uh, what do we want to do first? Do we want to do packs or do we want to start with the box topper? I think uh, we are gonna first of all focus a little bit There we go Now I think we'll wait for the box topper. Let's do that last and let's start off with just jumping into some really really awesome packs here uh, There's a lot of really really great reprints in this set uh, lots of things that I'm excited to see. Hopefully we get some of these powerful cards. Um, <laughs> again, there's a lot of them, so we will see Path to Exile, an amazing hit. Our first rare, Vexing Shusher, as well as Merciless Eviction. Not amazing, but that's fine. Uh, Volshot Gauntlets and Kaldotha Flame Fiend as our foils. So, not terrible, not great, to be honest. Path to Exile is a good card, but that's about it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but like I said, lots of really cool things, including these new uh, uh, Urza lands, which I'm really, really stoked about. The art is absolutely stunning. Uh, really, really happy to see that. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, I love, love, love opening two of everything. It just adds so much value. I know people are talking about EVs with these a lot. There's a lot of value to be had without a doubt. Uh, and so if, uh, if you do get your hands on one of these, I know they are expensive, uh, but it's very much worth it. Blood Moon, very nice. Ooh, Sword of Feast and Famine as our first mythic rare. Absolutely beautiful. Happy to see that uh, for sure. Steel Sabotage and the Capsule. I like these new tokens as well, the Elf Warrior token in particular. Very, very nice. All right. Uh... As we go through, I just want to mention we are giving away a draft pack of Double Masters. So uh, if you would like to enter, all you've got to do is subscribe to the channel. Uh, ooh, Fulminator Mage, very nice. And Conjurer's Closet, very cool. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can comment on any video you would like. It doesn't have to be a particular one, uh, but you can comment on any video with hashtag Double Masters. Uh, and if you do that, you are entered to win a free draft pack. That is three full boosters of Double Masters uh, that we will ship to you. If you happen to be international, that's fine. We'll figure out a way to, to make it right with you because normally we can't actually ship to you, but we do find a way. Archangel of Thune, by the way, is our next mythic. Not super amazing, but it's not terrible. Whoops. There we go. Uh, so far, I mean, Sword is definitely a really good pull, uh, but not the most exciting box, we will say. Uh, that being said, I haven't watched any of the other box openings that have gone around. Uh, I know there's been a few. Um, I'm interested to see what other people are getting, uh, just out of curiosity. Not a great pack, that one. Uh, Foil Expedition map's pretty cool, though. I like that. Uh, as far as mythics go, what are we hoping for? There's a lot that we're hoping for, to be honest. Force of Will, obviously, is up there. That's one that we absolutely want to see. Uh, don't know if we'll get it, obviously, but hopefully we do. Manamorphose is nice. Ooh, Flooded Grove. Absolutely love the uh, land cycle that they chose to reprint. Love, love, love these lands. Ooh, and a Reese, the Redeemed. Ancient Stirrings and Mo Manamorphose Foil. Those are two very, very strong foils. Uh, I would say very happy to see that. Ancient Stirrings is so good. So good. So is Manamorphose, honestly. Uh, all right. 
keep running through. Uh, Thirst for Knowledge, very, very good. Obliette, very, very cool as well. And another one of these land cycles, uh, Wooded Bastion, very happy to see that. And Sculpting Steel, beautiful. Uh, Kozilex Predator and Enlarge are our foils. That is a third of the way through the box so far. Uh, not a super amazing box at this point, but not some not bad stuff either. Uh, again, this is is a master set, so you gotta expect that we've got some good stuff coming. Uh, Fatal Push, love the art for Reclamation Sage, Pentad Prism, Adaptive Auto Automaton, excuse me, and our next uh, mythic is Arkham Dagson. Not a super amazing one again. <laughs> uh, we're not really getting the best hits. Uh, Foil Vampire Hex Mage is pretty good though. I like that. Um, that'll go directly into my cube. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do have a kind of legacy-esque cube, uh, and all of these master sets generally play a part in them, so, or in that, uh, so I try and update it every once in a while. <coughs> Braids, I like that. Ooh, and O-Stone, that's not too bad. Uh, ooh, and we've got a very one, so, Cathodium whatever. Foil, Voice of Resurgence. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna keep that there as well. Uh, man, I just love opening master sets though. It's just so fun. It's a great experience. I understand, first of all, uh, that this is a very expensive product. The reason it's so expensive is there is so much value to be had there, but, uh, ooh, another mythic. Uh, Tyrant of Jund, I like that. Wrath of God, I like that as well. Angel of Dawn and Cast Down. Uh, our foils. I do know that that prices a lot of people out though, uh, and I feel for you, I really do. It is an expensive product, it's not something that you can just go out and purchase, especially if you're just a casual player. Uh, so I do feel for you there, but um, unfortunately there are just products like that, and this happens to be one of them. There are so many good cards in here though, that hopefully what will happen uh, is a lot of these reprints mean that some of these cards will become a lot more accessible for you. Uh, at least that's the goal. Um, so hopefully that's the case, and that way if you'd like to jump into a new format, and now you've got some cheaper ways to do it. Popter Foundry is very good. Basalt Monolith is also very good. Oops. Open the Vaults. Cyclonic Rift. Not bad. Apprentice Wizard and Peace Strider. That was actually not a terrible pack. Thopter Foundry is good. Basalt Monolith, very, very good. Um, oops, there we go. Our Mythic hits have not been amazing. Uh, aside from the sword, the sword's pretty great, uh, but other than that, eh, it's been lacking. Been lacking. Uh, nice, like the land. Leonin Abinus, hope I said that correctly. Fairy me uh, Mechanist and Chromatic Star, I like the Foil Star. Uh, very, very nice. Obviously a lot of things for the Tron deck, uh, for obvious reasons, uh, in this set, but very, very sweet. Alright. Hinder. Another path, I like the path. Uh, Beacon of Unrest, Toxic Deluge, pretty good. Uh, Ovenwald Mysteries and a Shaman, not super exciting. And this is rounding out two thirds. This will be the uh, last pack of the two thirds mark of the box. So far we're doing okay, not great. Uh, kinda wish we were getting some better hits, but hopefully we will. We still got a little ways to go. Treasure Mage, that's not bad. Awakening Zone, I like Awakening Zone. Uh, Sharum, the Hegemon. Not a super exciting card. Lightning Axe Foil and Sylvan Might Foil. All right, last little stack of packs here. And then of course we do have our box stopper to finish things off. Let's end on a high note, hopefully. Uh, this, I hope, will not be a terrible box, but we'll see. Uh, perfectly fine if it is, regardless. Uh, again, I do just want to really, really thank Grand Slam. Oh, gosh, we got Geth. We got Geth. That's terrible. Um, Geth is really not a great mythic to be pulling, but that's fine. Um, just want to mention again, though, thank you for real to uh, Grand Slam for, for supporting us, not only just through this video, but over the years. They have been phenomenal. <laughs> Dark Steel Forge. A Maze of Ith is fine. Um, <clears throat> they've really done a lot for us, uh, and we can't thank them enough. Uh, without their support, we definitely wouldn't be where we are. We wouldn't have been able to do so many box openings. Um, and things like that over the years, and so it's it's truly a pleasure to be working with such great people. Ratchet Bomb and Duplicant. I like Disciple of the Vault. It's pretty sweet. Uh, coming down to the last, like, five packs here. Um, pretty lacking, overall, uh, if I'm honest. 
This has not been the most amazing box, but, uh, you know, that's fine. There's got to be bad boxes out there, right? Uh, Fetid Heath and a Vindicator. Battle Rattle. Ooh, and a Foil Path is quite nice, though. I like that. All right. Four packs to go. What could we still hit? Really anything better than what we've got, which is a lot, to be honest. The sword is definitely the best, I think, so far. Um, which is not bad. That's not terrible. Ooh, Noble Hierarch. I'm happy to see that. That's great. Uh, not great foils, but Noble Hierarch, very, very good. Happy to see it. Um, last time it was printed, I ended up with a foil one. I think that was Ultimate Masters. And holy crap, was I happy to pull that at the time. That was really, really something. Ooh, okay. Saving the box a little bit. A Mox Opal is fantastic. Terastodon, not really worth it, but fine. Uh, and a Foil Hammer of Nazan, uh, not terrible. That was a pretty good pack. Mox Opal, very, very good. I'm happy to see that. Last two packs, and then of course we have that box topper. Super, super excited to see what we get there. Invigorate, Hinder, Pintad Prism. Thought Reflection, and Council's Judgment. Happy to actually see Council's Judgment. <clears throat> um, I really do like that card. I think it's a really nice one. Um, and they've got a nice box topper of it too, so maybe we'll see that. Uh, last pack, until the box topper, Sphinx Summoner, Ash Barons, Esperzoa, Megas of the Abyss. Ooh, Stoneforge Mystic. That helps, that really, really helps. Welding Jar and a Dread Return. All right, guys, what do we think it is? This is the big one. What do we think is gonna be in this? Let's see. Oh, I'm glad we opened on the right side. All right. Oh yes, of course, there's two, pardon me. All right, first one, Blood Moon. Eh. Second, Urza's Mine. Well, it's really pretty, but it's probably not the best that we could have gotten. Uh, that's fine though, I think this is, you know, this was a fun box opening. Oops, sorry, gonna fix the focus a little bit. This was a really fun box opening, but it really wasn't the best of the boxes. <laughs> we got some good hits though, I will say. Overall, Mox Opal is good. Sword of Feast and Famine is good. Got a, quite a few good rares as well, so can't be too unhappy with it, but just wasn't the best. Hopefully we get uh, another box soon. Maybe we'll do a second box opening. That would be really, really fun. And again, thank you to Grand Slam so much for uh, sponsoring and making this possible. We really do appreciate it. Check them out. Make sure to like and comment down below if you are interested in uh, seeing more of this stuff. Make sure to subscribe as well. And thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next box opening video.